This was the first set that they really had a firm grasp on the storyline and everything else with. So we had maybe a few weeks before they started laying down floor plans and uh, lining out the stage and getting, getting plastered molds starting to be made. And, uh, and really, you kind of have to run with it, go with it, and commit to it very quick, wow. quickly. And we're standing here in the Brain Center, of course. This is where all the technology is compiled. We also have satellite communication. We have uh, different technologies uh, tapping into all the Earth's resources, science, uh, and all the kind of the Earth sciences, and every, every way you can get access to it via the internet, via things that we're contemporarily doing now. As well as uh, Bryce can sit here and play music, coordinate the robot fights when he wants to, have Laura control the entire house, the, the surveillance systems, you name it, it's all controlled by this, this hub. Now you've, you've talked to us about the combination of different styles as you just were, and here we have in the middle of this old mansion this huge glass wall, and Lauren and I were discussing, I see bullet holes here. <laughs> Was this shot at? Well, it was actually, there's a massive uh, action sequence that has been, the, the space has been customized for. Simon wanted, it's a really very specialized sequence. There's a massive uh, house assault. So we needed an epic space with a big backlight, with a classic backlight. So we took very classic metaphors and put, turned them into very practical lighting assignments. Laura can do her bungee ballet, hang on a chandelier. Unlike many sets where if you go right around the other side, there's nothing there, this is full three-dimensional yeah. uh, pillars and walls. And then if you go around the other side, there's real rooms. And is that a normal experience of yours in, in these sets, or is this something special? What I, what I like to do is, is give the director flexibility. If we limit him and not give him a fourth wall, or if we don't give him an avenue in which to have Again, Tomb Raider the game is all about exploration and the potentials in every space because it's all very spatially set. I really would prefer that Simon has the opportunity to shoot as he would like because, again, you'll never know the specific camera angles until you really do rehearse the sequence, see how it works, and see what are the best avenues in which to tell the story. I think for audiences of this film, it's going to be very difficult to convince them that this is not a real home. Good. And I know homes like this would take years to build. What yeah. was the time frame for actually constructing this? We had about uh, 17 weeks to build this. It's well, thank good. you for showing us. We yeah, had a wonderful time here. It's very nice to meet you. Thank you. We're actually going to stay, if you don't mind. We're thinking Please of renting do. the place Please out. Please do. <laughs>